Guys, welcome sa ating uh, next na video lesson. Ngayon ay nasa midterm na tayo. Previous lesson natin is all about algebra review. Now, we're going to review trigonometry. In addition to having a strong algebra background, you need a strong trigonometry skill set for calculus. You want to know the graphs of the trigonometric functions and to be able to evaluate trigonometric functions quickly. Many calculus problems require one or more trigonometric identities. So make sure you have more than a few, few of them memorized or at least can derive them quickly. In problems you'll work on, in this chapter you will solve a variety of fundamental trigonometric problems that cover topics such as the following. Understanding trigonometric functions in relation to right triangles. Finding degree and radian measure, finding angles on the unit circle, uh, proving identities, finding the amplitude period and phase shifting, uh, phase shift of a periodic uh, function. This is uh, for the part two. Working with inverse trigonometric functions and solving trigonometric equations with and without using inverses. Okay. So, itong first four yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, no, no, part one. Okay? So, what to watch out for? Remember the following work, uh, when working on the trigonometry review questions. No? Being able to evaluate trigonometric functions at common, uh, common angles is very important since they appear often in problems. Having them memorized will be extremely useful. Watch out when solving equations using inverse trigonometric functions. Calculators give only a single solution to the equation, but the equation may have many more, uh, sometimes infinitely many solutions. Depending on the given interval, thinking about the solutions, the unit circle is often the good way to visualize the other solutions. Although you may be most familiar with using degrees to measure angles, regions are used mostly exclusively in calculus. So learn to, to love region measure. Memorizing many trigonometric identities is a good idea because they appear often in calculus problems. So we go now with basic trigonometry. Ito yung questions for 103 and 104. Evaluate sine theta. So pag nakikita kayo ng ganito, sine yan. Basic, no? Uh, trigonometric uh, terms no na dapat nyong tandaan or memorize no so sine cosine tangent no for this problem yung symbol na to yung nakita nyo to uh, greek symbol no ang tawag dyan ni theta but this is angle no so sine theta cosine theta or angle tan no or tan theta so for uh, for uh, question 103 we have the following example no so we have a right triangle Okay. So, kung nakita nyo ganyan, 90 degrees, okay. right triangle yan. Okay. So, baka sabihin nyo, bakit nakaharap sa left kung right triangle? No? So, right, ang pinopoint dito is kung hindi kung saan nakaharap yung angle. No? <coughs> Kundi kung ano yung measurement ng angle. Pag ganitong uh, uh, ang measurement ng angle, 90 degrees, that is considered as right triangle. No? So, Ito yung hypotenuse natin at ito yung naman yung ating mga legs no it can be a or b no pwedeng ma-reverse yan depende sa problem no so we are supposing this is a this is 4 and 7 c b no at ito yung ating c which is the hypotenuse no so yung ating uh, value is square root of 65 so paano daw uh, i-evaluate no yung sin theta cos cosine theta at yung tan theta. So, when we consider the sides of the right triangle, the values of the trigonometric functions are given by sine. So, itong ating formula muna, no? Uh, yung sine theta natin is equal daw sa opposite. May explain natin. Over hypotenuse, no? Yan, hypotenuse. So, yung cosine naman daw, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse okay and then yung tangent ang ating uh, <clears throat> formula ay opposite over adjacent okay so ito yung tatlong uh, trigonometric function so makikita nyo dito sa ating example yung theta yung angle na hinahanap 
lagi may symbol na teta dito. Okay? So, ito yung hinahanap na angle. Hindi ito, no? Dahil alam na natin to eh. 90 degrees to eh. Okay? So, 90 degrees. Ito, hindi natin alam. Unknown. Okay? So, siya yung may symbol na teta. So, pag sinabi mong opposite, yung kaharap. So, opposite ng angle o ng teta. So, sino yun? Si 7. Okay? So, ito yung opposite. Okay? At pag sinabi mong adjacent, ito yung angle, yung kalapit niya. No? Kaya sinabing adjacent eh. Kalapit, karatig, yan. Okay? Katabi. Okay? At sinabi natin yung hypotenuse ito. Alam natin yung hypotenuse. No? So, pag sinabi mong sign, opposite sign, so this will be opposite over hypotenuse. No? So, ito ay yung sine theta natin is equal to 7 over the square root of 65. And then, si cosine will be 4 kasi adjacent. Si adjacent si 4. So, si cosine theta is equal to 4 over the square root of 65. And then, si tangent will be itong dalawa, no? Kasi opposite over adjacent. So, tangent theta is equal to 7 over 4. Okay? So, pag ni-rationalize natin to, it will be 4 times the square root of 65 over 65. Okay? Ito rin, madali lang, 7 times the square root of 65 over 65. Pero kung may nakita kayong uh, ganitong instruction, sa ibang exam, no? sa akin kasi hindi ko nalalagyan ng ganito, ay uh, susundin nyo, no? i-rationalize nyo. No? So, madali lang naman, kung meron kang, ito yung ating uh, radicals, radicals ang tawag dyan, uh, pag ni-rationalize mo yan, this will give you 65 over, uh, square root of 65 over 65. Kung yan may square root of 7, for example, lagyan mo lang ng 7 sa ilalim. Okay? So, ganun yung pag-rationalize, no? Ng mga radical. Let's go now with 104. Okay? So, tandaan nyo yung function na yun, no? So, 104, the same, no? Uh, sine, theta, cosine, theta, and uh, tangent, no? Tan, theta. So, sine, sine, theta would be, ano sabi natin? Opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite, ito, 8 over uh, 2, no? Times the square root of 17. So, 8 over 2 times the square root of 17. Okay? So, pagka ganyan, i-simplify eh, natin, no? Alam naman natin ng uh, pag-simplify ng fraction, di ba? So, magiging 4. Kasi i-rationalize natin. So, nilagay natin doon over 17. Okay? And this is the final answer for the sine theta. Ito naman cosine theta. This will give us adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay? So, 2 over 2 to the 17. So, it will give us cancel, cancel out. Uh, and then, uh, rationalize radicals. So, we have the final answer of square root of 17 divided by 17. And there's a tangent. Okay. We have ito, opposite over adjacent. Okay. So, 8 over 2. So, this will give us 4. This is our ta angle, no? Tangent. Uh, for the uh, tangent theta. Okay. <clears throat> so, we go now with uh, 105 to 108. Evaluate the trigonometric function. Remember to rationalize denominators that contain radicals. So given sine theta equals 3 over 7. So evaluate daw natin. Where the pi over 2 is less than 0 and 0 is less than pi. Okay? So find the cotangent z, uh, theta. Okay? So, anong cotangent theta? Ang cotangent theta ay cosine. Okay, tandaan nyo to. Ang cotangent theta is equal to 
cosine over sine theta. So, ang solution natin dyan, we will use the identity, no? Ito yung, uh, di ba tatlo yung nasa taas, diniscuss natin, ito yung pang-apat, no? Na functions. Kaya ito naman yung first identity, no? Na gamitin natin. So, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Okay? So, gagamitin natin yan. So, ano mangyayari kung gagamitin natin to So, is it sine squared daw? No? Plus cosine squared will give us 1. So, ito yung ating first identity. Tandaan nyo. At ito yung ating fourth function. Ngayon, third, yung three functions nasa taas, no? Diniscuss natin kanina. So, anong value? Re-replace lang natin yung value. So, value ni sine, ito, no? I3 over 7. So, squared yon So, lagyan natin ng squared. So, tapos okay na tayo dito. Yung cosine, no? Squared. Anong value ni cosine? So, wala pa tayong value ni cosine. So, isulat lang natin. Cosine squared. Theta equals 1. So, from here, <coughs> makukuha na natin yung value ni cosine squared, no? Kasi kailangan natin to dito eh. Si sine kasi, okay na. Okay? Hindi natin ito hanapin. Si cosine yung hinahanap natin dito. Ito. Okay? Ayan. Pag nahanap natin ito, i-divide natin ito para makuha naman si cotangent. Okay? So, si cosine squared, theta. So, alam nyo na, di ba? Ililipat sa kabila. Pag, nat pag nilipat natin sa kabila, uh, isabay na natin yung pag-squared sa kanya. So, 3 over 7 squared is equal to 9 over 49, no? So, nalimutan ko yung 1. So, yung 1. So, cosine squared is equal to 1 minus 9 over 49. Okay? So, paano ito isi-simplify? Paano? Hindi pa yan, uh, hindi pa yan uh, sim simplest form, no? So, sabi natin 1, di ba? Minus 9 over 49. Okay? So, ipa-find mo lang yung common denominator, no? Which is 49. Ngayon, alam natin si 1, okay? ay pwede siyang gawin natin equivalent ng 49. Pwede natin siyang i-lagyan uh, ng fraction, gawing fraction, di ba? So, paano natin ipa-fraction, i-convert sa fraction ng 1 na meron din siyang 49 sa ilalim? Simple lang. Lagyan natin ng 49 over 49 kasi ito equivalent dito sa 1, di ba? So, kung gagawin natin yan, so 49 uh, Minus 9 over 49. So, ano mangyayari? 40, no? 40 over 49. So, ang sagot natin for cosine, no? Is 40 over 49. Okay? So, square pa natin siya. Okay? So, dahil pala nilitang ko sulat. Okay? So, teka lang, ha? <clears throat> Gawa tayo ng space dito sa baba. Kunin mo natin yung space na to. So, meron na tayong cosine theta equals 40 over 49. Okay? So, paano makuha si cosine? Ililipat natin si square doon. No? So, remember yung pinag-aralan natin sa algebra? Pag nilipat mo si square, kabaliktaran niya ay square root. So, uh, cosine is equal to the square root of uh, the square root of 40 over 49 okay so kapag prenaction natin to uh, sinimplify natin it will give us equals 2 times the square root of 10 is equal to 7 okay so the square root of 7 uh, 49 is 7 and the square root of uh, 40 is ano? Okay? Is 10, no? Pero hindi siya exact. So, we have 2 times the square root of 10. Okay? And then we can... 
uh, we can uh, compute now for the uh, for the cotangent at huwag nyo rin kalimutan no? meron pa condition dito no? sabi rito uh, the angle is less than the pi no? ito sorry yung nabasa ko 0 kanina hindi pala 0 yun yung angle no? so since uh, yung angle is less than the pi and the pi over 2 is less than the angle so magkaroon tayo ng negative dito no? yan negative so ito negative okay so computing for the cotangent so we have the cosine and then we have the sine no ito yung sine yan okay 3 over 7 so we have 3 over 7 so cancel cancel out our, our answer is negative 2 times the square root of 10 over 3. Okay? At ito yung ating final answer para kay cotangent theta. Okay?